Ian, why is this so significant if he wants to take it private? Well, I mean, it's a weird story in uh, any number of ways, Jane. I mean, first of all, Elon Musk, it's fair to say, has been at loggerheads with Wall Street for quite some time. He attempted to patch up relations with Wall Street analysts in a conference call for the company's results last week. In the previous quarter's results, he'd uh, complained about being asked knuckle-headed, bone-headed questions, really uh, making clear that uh, he didn't have a lot of time for the analysts who had paid to follow the fortunes of this company. And at the same time, he's been very irritated, Jane, by the way that the stock price has behaved. Uh, there are a lot of sceptics on Wall Street concerning Tesla. I mean, it's, it's never made a penny profit. It's burning through its cash. It's down to its last two billion dollars. There's been all sorts of speculation that it would need to raise capital this year. And accordingly, it's been in the targets of the short sellers. Now, these are speculators that uh, borrow stock, uh, sell it, and then uh, in the hope of uh, the share price falling and then buying it back later and making a profit uh, in the process. And something like 27 percent of Tesla's stock is out on loan, which shows you that there's a lot of people out there betting on the stock price falling. So as I say, Elon Musk pretty frustrated by all of this. Now, what happened yesterday, Jane, was that the uh, Financial Times reported just after midday US time that uh, the Saudi Sovereign Wealth Fund had taken a 5% stake in Tesla. Within an hour, Elon Musk tweeted, uh, I'm considering taking Tesla private, funding secured. And he followed this up with a blog um, to uh, Tesla staff saying that it would be better if the company could get on with its business in peace and away from the public markets. Now, what's really obviously weird about this, Jane, is that you just don't do things like that on Twitter. You don't do it on social media. If you're thinking about taking a company private, there's a proper procedure that you had to go for. So if he doesn't follow through with this, or even if he doesn't follow up with proof that he's got the funding, as he claims, then the chances are he's laying himself open to all kinds of lawsuits. He could also face regulatory uh, action as well, although it's worth pointing out that uh, Netflix in the past has put out price-sensitive information via Facebook and has not been punished by the American Securities and Exchange Commission. So there is a precedent for showing leniency for some of these new upstart companies. And then, after all of that, Jane, you get to the situation of how much it's going to cost. And that's the real thing that uh, has got people on Wall Street very, very sceptical. Elon Musk was talking about a take private at $420 a share. That sent the stock price up 11% to 379.57 last night. But that would value Tesla at 70 to 72 billion dollars it would be a massive deal when you think the, the the biggest take private that we've seen in recent years was Michael Dell the computer entrepreneur he took his business private for just shy of 25 billion dollars uh, th five years ago it's a huge sum of money and there are as I say big questions over where Elon Musk would get that money he might turn to someone like the Saudis there's speculation that Fidelity one of the world's biggest money managers which has previously backed SpaceX one of his other big ventures they might put up some money but even so, $70 billion, uh, dollars, you don't rustle that up over th under, out of thin air.